Hello everybody, this is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the European server Sebastian Potato back in his M24 Chaffee. This time with a fourth place battle. There's three artillery apiece, one scout apiece, and they also have an AMX 40 on his team. A good mix of tanks across the rest of the line of battle. The, um, the enemy team kind of extra heavies only two mediums he likes to pull up over here when he scouts at least in the smaller scouts bigger scouts can't really get away with doing it as well but the chaff is pretty small right up here by the water tower there's a bush that I've seen him go to on several other occasions looks like that's where he's headed now there's at least two TDs and I don't know, maybe one of the, the church will stick it around. And he starts getting spots right away. Trying to direct fire on the OI, who starts taking damage right away. That's a good sign. Definitely helps your life as a scout if your team is paying attention and shoots at what you ask them to shoot. KV-1's skylining big time out in the open. And he gets tracked. Smartly uses the repair kit because he couldn't stay there very long without dying. But now for some strange reason, after repairing his tracks, he stops up on top of the hill, <laughs> gets hit twice and dies. It's like, why even bother wasting money on your repair kit if you're just going to stop out in the open anyway? The OI continues his advance while the, the PZ-34 looks like maybe he's headed back to support the, the town. Kind of a strange battle that the enemy sent two heavies to the north. They like to usually go to town and just brawl over there. Two out of their five heavies came to the north. Well, he's not passing that up. Tracked rear of a TD. That's too ripe of a target not to shoot. And if he doesn't take him out there, the guy probably gets away. And now, here comes an enemy invasion on spawn. Ready to fire. Let's find another target. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Man, third tank coming in, PZ-4. So the goal now is to keep the OI lit up and take it out of the fight. And hopefully that 100Y can handle the PZ-4. He got perfect firing position, shooting right to the side. There you go. 
three out of four shots killed and penetrated. We didn't penetrate their armor. We didn't even scratch them. Target unlocked. The Chaffee's gun fires fast, but it isn't the most powerful in the world. And here comes the Nashorn. Way too late to do any good over here. This is a, a problem you have with public battles, random battles that you don't have in organized team events where everybody's got voice common, they coordinate what they're doing. In random battles, you have 30 players out there just hoping what they do is coordinated and trying to get 30 people to coordinate 15 people on a team. Is, it's, it'd be kind of like playing American football but not having a huddle before we play. You just line up and then run a play and you figure out what the play is going to be as the play develops. It's, like it's not going to be very pretty. It happens a lot in pubs. You got to pay attention to what your team's doing and react to it. Now there's two tanks over on town side plus the artillery. So he's sensing some easy pickings up here. And off he goes to Artie. The girl's gonna die without ever seeing it because of the bush. You don't have to be in a bush to use bush. A bush halfway between you and your target, a bush 20 meters away from the enemy target, they all do the same thing. They keep that guy from seeing you shoot at him. So take advantage whenever you can. And there's the next two already looking the other way and he's behind him, so just a matter of whether he gets the kills or the 43 bears. Bam, he gets all three. There's a top gun and a pass Coochie all in one round. Two guys left, and man, that Churchill 7. I don't know if he's moved even 30 meters all game. He's got his spot, and he is staying there. He's kind of like the, the totally square, straight laced guy you take to a strip club, man. You can pay a stripper to do a lap dance on him, and he's just going to sit there and act like nothing's going on. That's what this Churchill 7 is doing. As far as he's concerned, the only thing that matters is that little patch of ground that he's on. He's not changing where he's at. Which is cool for Sebastian, because it lets him get more damage. And potentially, another kill. This is an easy one-shot kill here now. Bam! So Sebastian finishes out the battle, 1,470 damage, 7 kills, 22 of 23 shooting, 1,997 assisted damage in 9 spots, earned 23,280 credits and survived the fight. He was awarded 2,225 XP and got Pascucci, Top Gun, Patrol Duty and Scout Medals along with Spotter, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, Mini Metals, and that gives him a 4th place battle score of 2,335. He likes going to this bush right, beside, right underneath that water tower. Smaller scouts can go there, larger scouts won't fit. Bush isn't wide enough to take care of you from if you're, if you're a long scout. Now, Chaffee's about the tallest scout out there, but if you're long, if your vehicular length is, is bigger than the chaffee, you probably won't fit very well in that bush. But there's other bushes over there you can use. Either way, he likes to go there. I like to go here. Get spots up in this area. There weren't a lot of tanks back here supporting him, but the ones that were there were getting shots. And the KV-1 was kind enough to sit out in the open, so he died. The OI was slowly getting worn down. And then they attacked up through here. Just enough defenders and with Sebastian's help to blunt the attack, force the PZ-4 to retreat. And then after he caught the, uh, the TD backing up, the Nashorn came in way too late. He was able to pull up and take him out. And at that point, 
the only tanks left on the enemy team were over here somewhere and he had an open open path into artillery so he went in there with the A43 and they cleaned them all up then he went hunting search and destroy for the last two tanks and managed to get a kill on one of them you noticed how when he was spotting he wasn't shooting because shooting would have given away his position stay patient let your team do the damage then when that one TD was retreating just as he was about to go out of sight he took the shot and got the kill because it's better at that point he has easy cover just to his left go ahead and get the kill remove a gun from the game there's not enough tanks left to really present a problem for you in your current position so if you get spotted who cares you just use your cover regain concealment and then you take the fight to the enemy and it's exactly what he did recognize the situation on the map and know when it's safe to fire and early on know when firing is going to screw up the good thing you have going you can shoot when passive you just got to make sure the time is right and the situation is right for you to do it don't jeopardize a good thing by firing too soon from highway standard mode north spawn the dominant factor in his fight again Sebastian Potato happy hunting